In this video, I would like to present to you about the salient features and classification of class Reptilia. About the salient features, reptiles are cold-blooded or poikilotherms. The body is divided into head, trunk and tail and there is a distinct neck between the head and the trunk. They have two pairs of pentadactyl limbs with clawed digits. The skin is dry and non-glandular having an exoskeletal covering of epidermal scales which are modified in some to form shields, plates or scutes which contains keratin. Bony plates osteoderm develop beneath the scales in some forms Example, lizards and crocodiles. The heart is imperfectly four-chambered with two auricles and an incompletely divided ventricle. But in crocodile, the ventricle is completely divided as in birds and mammals to form four-chambered heart. Lungs are the respiratory organs. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Copulatory organs are present in males, hence fertilization is internal. Eggs are laid on land. The egg is protected by a shell and contains large amount of yolk. There are three embryonic membranes, amnion, allantois and yolk sac during development. Order Chelonia includes turtles and tortoises. So what is the difference between turtle and tortoise? The marine forms are commonly called turtles while the freshwater ones are terrapins and the terrestrial forms are called tortoises. Example for a marine turtle is Chelon midas which is referred to as a green turtle. An example for a freshwater terrapin is trionyx, while testudo is the terrestrial tortoise. In the case of turtles, the forelimbs are clawless and modified into paddles. Carapace is heart shaped, head can be withdrawn only partially inside the shell. While in the case of tortoise, the forelimbs with claw digits. The carapace is oval shaped and head can be completely withdrawn into the shell. An example coming under order Chelonia is the commonly known as green turtles that is Chelon midas. It is marine, it is edible. The carapace is heart shaped and flat joined to the plastron by ligaments only. Head and neck are not fully retractile. Both the forelimbs and hind limbs are modified into wing-like paddles. Tail is rudimentary. These turtles are fast and graceful swimmers but move slowly and clumsily on land. The female lays eggs in pits dug in the sand along the beach. It lays around 200 eggs. Chelon midas is commonly referred to as green turtle owing to its greenish body fat. Ichthyosauria coming under subclass Parapsida were fish like reptiles. They had elongated snout which was toothed. Limbs were modified as paddles and they showed hyperdactyly and hyperphalange. Ichthyosaurus, an extinct marine reptile, commonly known as fish lizard, had a streamlined body that was fish-like or dolphin-like. Gills were absent while the respiratory organs were lungs. It was an active swimmer. Females gave birth to young ones. Order Therapsida 
coming under subclass Synapsida is with no living members. The therapsids were the true mammal-like reptiles. Cynognathus coming under order Therapsida was about 1.5 meters long and was similar to a dog in structure and size. It was a very active, predaceous and carnivorous reptile. The body, skull and limbs resembled typical reptile. It was warm-blooded and the body was provided with hairs even it may have given birth to young ones. Subclass Diatsita consists of three orders Rhynchocephalia, Order Scormita and Order Crocodilia. First about Order Rhynchocephalia. Body is elongate and lizard like. The skull is diapsid. Skin is covered by granular scales and a mid-dorsal row of spines. Limbs are pentadactyle, clawed and burrowing. Sphenodon, commonly known as Twatara lizard, is an example for a living fossil. It lives in burrows in some islands near New Zealand and is semi-aquatic in habit. It is nocturnal and carnivorous, mainly feeding on insects. It grows about 2 feet long and is dull olive green in color with white and yellow spots on the body. On the dorsal side, there is a row of spines formed from scales extending from the head to the tail except on the neck. It lays about 10 hard white shelled eggs which takes more than one year to hatch. Order Scormita consists of lizards and snakes. What is the difference between a lizard and a snake? In the case of lizard, body is slightly compressed. It is having two pairs of limbs. Exoskeleton is not removed by molting. Nictitating membrane is present. Tongue is not bifid. Urinary bladder is present. While in the case of snakes, body is cylindrical, limbs are absent, exoskeleton is removed by molting, nictitating membrane is absent, tongue is bifid, urinary bladder is absent. Chameleon is the arboreal green lizard commonly found in the forest of India, Madagascar, Africa, etc. It lives on trees and feeds on insects. The head is characterized by a hood. It has long protrusible club-shaped tongue. Some of the arboreal adaptations of chameleon are psychodactylus hand and feet with opposable digits which help to hold firmly on the tree branches, large and independently movable eyes, the ability to change color and the long sticky protrusible extensible tongue. Order Crocodilia includes crocodiles and alligators which are the largest living reptiles which are carnivorous and predatory aquatic organisms. They have four chambered heart muscular diaphragm, thecodon dentition, females come to land and lay their eggs in nests constructed from decaying vegetations or in pits. The main difference between crocodile and alligators are that crocodiles have a short slender snout whereas alligators have a blunt broad snout. Alligators are less aggressive than crocodiles. Crocodilus palustris is the common Indian crocodile. Gavialis gangeticus is a crocodile seen in the Ganges. So, in a nutshell, Mesozoic era is referred to as the golden age of reptiles. 
class reptilia consists of four subclasses. Subclass Anapsida includes primitive reptiles, those tortoise and turtles. Subclass Parapsida and subclass Synapsida are extinct reptiles. Diapsida consists of order Rhynchocephalia, order Scometa, and order Crocodilia. Sphenodon is an example for a living fossil. Lizards and snakes come under order Squamata. Thank you.